What is up YouTube, it's Ninjacracker here, bringing you another Titan review. Now today, this review is going to be on North Star. I know I did skip Scorch, but Scorch is a little bit different. I want to skip ahead to North Star, because a lot of people don't know how to play North Star, don't understand how he plays, or how he even works. Now, North Star is a lightweight sniping Titan. Yes, I said it's sniping Titan. You have to charge, if you charge his railgun to full charge, it becomes just like a sniper rifle. And his power, his shots are very, very powerful. He can almost take down a full bar of health on a Titan with one shot, which is unbelievably powerful. I play a lot of last Titan standing, so I get a lot of use out of North Star. He can be very, very strong and last titan standing or very very weak depending on your playstyle depending if you're playing him to his strengths but let's get into the build first off what you want to have is the extra dash north star by default comes with two dashes but an extra dash making that three dashes total lets you move around the map and run away from titans and boost into a titan fight and then boost right out of it really really fast it makes a huge difference and the other ability we're going to go with is enhanced payload now, North Star has a single fire missile that he shoots out, but once it explodes on impact with something, whether it be a Titan or the ground, or a wall behind your target, it releases a bunch of little cluster bombs. Now, I'm gonna, I want to go with Enhanced Payload to make that those cluster bombs, make it have more of those cluster bombs, because that is what really does the huge amount of damage. Not the initial uh, missile hitting them, it doesn't do very much damage, but all the cluster bombs does a crazy amount of damage. So you want to increase the cluster bombs with that. So we're going with extra dash and enhanced payload. Now let's get into the playstyle of North Star. North Star has a plasma railgun that if you charge it, I would recommend never firing it unless you're charging. You're just wasting your shots and your ammo if you're not charging it. Also, it's not very accurate if you don't charge it. The longer you charge it, the more accurate it gets to where it gets just pinpoint accuracy and it does the most damage when you charge it. And it can almost take out a Titan's, one Titan's full bar of health, uh, one of those little bars. You see how North Star only has three bars. It can almost take out a full bar of health with one charged shot, which is absolutely ridiculous. North Star is the only Titan that can fly, which is pretty neat. I would recommend using this ability to fly above cover or above friendly titans let's say your titans are engaging your friendly titans are engaging an enemy titan and you can't see over them i'll just use that that hover ability and hover right over them and get in a sneaky sniper shot right into them get them let down low health another thing is you will not get a lot of kills with north star north star will wear down an enemy titan's health to almost next to nothing i find more often than not an enemy or a friendly titan will just come in swoop in put like one shot into the enemy titan and kill him and he'll get the kill which is i think one of the problems with the scoreboard in titanfall 2 is the scoreboard goes by kills and not by score the the ranking system i find a lot of the times i'm on the bottom of the scoreboard with one or two kills but i have more than double the points of the people at the top of the scoreboard excuse me i think they have to fix that toward the score pranks you on the scoreboard not in the amount of kills excuse me oh, I got the hiccups today but North Star and all the other Titans moves combo very very well together now he doesn't he's the only Titan without a shield as I may have mentioned before he only has tether traps which is another reason why you want to sit back you do not want to rush in you want to you want to hide behind your other Titans your friendly Titans and hide behind cover peek over cover and just nail him with this this like long range suppression is what he's best at okay if a titan does try to rush you i would recommend throwing down your tether traps boosting away a little bit and then turning around and shooting your cluster missile right at him because when he's trapped by the tether traps he can't move unless he's smart enough to shoot the tether trap which most kids aren't and it'll just knock him down health the cluster bombs will and it'll just and you allows you to get away and allow him to lower his health and you can get away to a point where you can turn around and start sniping him again but i think that's about it with north star just to recap the extra dash ability and the enhanced payload ability are the abilities you want to go with you want to try to hide behind cover keep your distance from enemy titans because they will kill you very very fast if you're even medium range to close range to them. You want to keep your distance, play your your plasma rifle to your strengths, always charge it. 
but this has been it for Ninja Cracker, and peace out.